one that picked a fight with my sentries. The sensors also picked up your battle in space. You've had a pretty busy day. That ends now. No more fighting in our camp. I am Mandalore, leader of the Mandalorians. Mandalore is the name we give to our leader. Becoming Mandalore is the greatest honor any Mandalorian could aspire to. When our leader falls in battle, the most worthy takes his place. So even though your army killed our leader, it was only a matter of time before we chose someone new. Me. So it's transportation you want. It so happens I have a small shuttle that's more than capable of running the Onderon military blockade. I make occasional trips to Isis for information and supplies. If you want to go with me, you're going to have to prove your worth. Figure it out yourself. Ask around. See if you can make yourself useful, or something that'll show what you're made of. There is one thing. Before your ship landed, we were preparing some demolition work. All the activity forced my men to stop before they finished. The charges need to be detonated before anybody comes across them, so all you have to do is flip the switch. We want to keep a low profile, so we've recalled all our patrols in the jungle. Setting off some high explosives isn't a textbook example of subtlety. You asked if there was anything you could do, and I told you. Nothing in this jungle is as simple as it seems, though. We were trying to uncover the entrance to a hidden cache of old Mandalorian equipment. The explosives should be easy to find. Just get to it before the Canucks do. They're not much more than a couple of plasteel cylinders. Before you get any bright ideas, if you uncover cache B-13, leave it alone. Even if you survive the traps, it would require military-grade explosives to open without the proper access codes. What's inside belongs to the Mandalorians. The last months before Duxon fell, the old Mandalore knew that Revan and the Republic were gaining the upper hand. He ordered our best engineers to hide caches of weapons and munitions throughout the moon, safely away from the enemy's hands. Don't you think they tried? It's real easy to hide things in a jungle. Even when they found some of our caches, our engineers left them some presents. I'll let Kex know that you check out. We found more gear than we can use, so you can trade with him if you need some more supplies. Be careful in the jungle. Our patrols have stopped until the space traffic dies down. The challenging beasts have been cleared from the area, but what's left might still be too much for you.
want. Signals? What signals? It's like someone is searching the planet, and doing so under the noses of the military. Whoever they are, they've stayed clear of us. I don't know. Duxun's all jungle except for this camp. If you want to pitch in, go ahead. Zuka hasn't been able to get the damn thing up and running. You can find him in the eastern side of camp, just south of the hangars. Look for the sparking wires, and he won't be far. We heard reports of a Zakeg wandering the paths around here. They're a good challenge for Mandalorians. If you see one, stay out of its way. Without us to back you up, you'll be dead in seconds. Several components are broken and need repair. Without the relay, we're vulnerable to attack, especially right now. Your space metal may have attracted unwanted attention, and our shuttle sensors can't cover the whole moon. Oh, it seems just about everything involved with a relay dish is broken. I've been trying to fix it for weeks and still no success. If you think you can help, there's the broken cables right over there, and the relay maintenance structures behind me. You can find the telemetry computer in there. 
The only thing I know for sure is we need a new phase pulse converter for the tracking computer. We actually already found one in an old weapons cache, but flaming Canox ate it. Just gut every Canox you come across. You wouldn't believe the things you can find in those little beasts. All right then, come back when you have the converter and we can see about getting these systems working again. Any progress with the repairs or the phase pulse converter? Good to hear it. I've been low on parts, otherwise I would have been able to get to that. Damn it. So, you're the Jedi the camp's been talking about. Are you planning on exploring the jungles to the south? I'm Zarga. I instruct our RAR Mandalorian recruits in the ways of discipline and battle. I sent one of my warriors, Kumas, into the jungle. It's been three days, and I want you to bring back his corpse and his survival pack. If Kumas wasn't dead, he'd be back already. If you find his body, just bring it back. Hmm, good point. I don't want his body, just his equipment. Field strip the corpse and bring the gear back. Do as you will, but you won't impress anyone here by scavenging through the jungle for the gear of our fallen brothers. Devril, what are your terms? No weapons, 
No Jedi tricks and no items. Just fist and foot. A true test of strength. Put your weapon away, Jedi. Don't step out of the circle and pull any death blow. No one dies in the battle circle. Step into the battle circle. Now you will experience a true fight. The match between Jedi and Davril is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. Davril is just a recruit. I'm not surprised you won this fight. A challenger has expressed interest in fighting you. As little honor as you have gained, it is sufficient to accept his request. Let me know if you would fight again. Here to watch a fight? After defeating Davril, you have gained some small honor. There is a challenger for you. He is Kex, the Quartermaster. Since he is the challenger, you get to choose the terms. I will send a runner to Kex. Prepare yourself for your fight, Jedi. The match between Kex and Jedi is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. If you want to fight again, let me know. Here to watch a fight or to participate. You choose to fight again. Now face a real Mandalorian warrior. Tagren, what are your terms? Just fist and foot like your fight with Devil. Nothing else. Tagren chooses to fight hand to hand. Remember, no weapons. <laughs> Between Jedi and Tagrin is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. You have fought well today. The only Mandalorians left for you to fight are our champions. No one can fight a champion until they have proven themselves worthy. And it must be real proof. The kind you gain fighting foes to the death. And a champion must observe and deem your actions worthy. There are two champions in the camp. Braylor and Kelborn, until you prove yourself in their eyes, the battle circle is closed to you. So the Jedi Order isn't completely dead. You always had hidden strengths. Very hard for even the wisest Mandalore to judge and predict. I have studied much of the Jedi since our defeat. I would be honored to cross blades with you in the battle circle. I could only do that if I observed you fight an enemy in real combat. I have seen your matches so far, and I do not doubt your worthiness to face me. But the rules cannot be changed. The other champion, Kelborn, is in the jungle on a mission. Perhaps your paths will cross, and you will have your opportunity there.
with the repairs or the phase pulse converter. That's the best thing I've heard in weeks. I'll be sure to tell Mandalore about your help. Look, I have some extra parts and computer spikes. Take them. You can probably make better use of them than I can. 